What's up everybody? It's John here again. So, you guys ever noticed just how beautiful getting out and nature and seeing things, how nice that can really be? You know, it's uh, often told of us from almost like days of old or past times, you know, maybe grandparents, parents, I'd say more grandparents even though, depending on your age and everything. Um, you know, this is where, you know, they, this was their TV guys, out here in nature. Yet as I film this, it seems like we keep on getting further and further away from it. And don't get me wrong, I love having a lot of new technologies and things that are you know, very, very good um, for, you know, society, right? Things that help make us, I don't know, more uh, uh, binding on like a, a global scale sometimes is nice, right? Depending on how you look at it, right? It's bad and good, all in one. But, I mean, it's gorgeous out here. But the biggest thing that's a killer, which I just did a little bit on that, is is more so us separating from that, and us separating from who we are and where we want to go in life. And so, if we can get back to normalcy, or at least get back to showing each other a little bit of, you know, compassion. A little bit of love, you know? You don't have to be a Christian, you know? You could believe in natural law, just nature, to see that, you know, the world is very beautiful. I mean, take a look at this, guys. This here is a stream, okay? Well, more like a, like a spring, but as you can tell, it's nice, right? I mean, the water's flowing. Movement is happening. You know, all of these great things. And you see, it's all out in the great outdoors. See the trees, the birds are chirping. It's beautiful. And this is what I want to bring us back to. Uh, kind of talking about some of these points, you guys. Because it seems like, you know, I don't want to keep going back there, but it seems like today, um, we, we almost find excuses to draw away from it, right? To get further away, right? From what nature intended or what God intended. So I want to kind of um, be some type of bridge to bring you guys out in nature, get to see things, you know, get to love things a little bit, get to experience a little bit. I mean, goodness, take a look at this. That right there is a salmonberry uh, flower. I mean, look how beautiful that is, you know? You don't get that sitting at home. I mean, you can look it up online, but it's not the same. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, all I'm saying is get out. You to enjoy life a little, guys. Experience the great outdoors. There's so much to see. So many trees. So much flow of water. Let your life be almost like a river. You know, I, uh, I love this quote. You know, I've heard it from uh, people that have allowed this to affect their life in a positive way. And also a good friend of mine that says, um, let your life flow like moving water right so that means change and pivot as things come at you rather than completely dam up and blockade merely there's a new path that opens up to you okay, there's a little western red cedar pretty good mm, smells so good always anyways that's what i want to share with you guys so be fluid be water be willing to change and adapt and overcome
but also know what you stand for. You know, uh, don't fall for anything. So stand for something, or you will fall for anything. Um, you know, so and then you'll lose yourself because yourself will become others, and um, that's not a good day. So you know, stand for something, but also get along with people, guys. You know, uh, you may not always like them, but if us as a society in a world can learn to slowly and quickly show a little compassion and a little love to our fellow brothers or sisters out there, uh, it's going to go a long ways. And it's going to make the planet a lot better. And the tensions that we're seeing right now could be a lot less. That's all I'm saying. So, as I'm kind of just enjoying this beautiful walk, let that kind of sink in around you. And also, maybe go enjoy a little peaceful walk. Even if you live in town, you guys can still go do something fairly nice. So, go see a scenic park or nature trail. I'm sure it exists. And you guys take care, always. All right, see you next time.